What's going on guys so today guys i'm going to show you guys a quick tip to show you guys how to install a solid state drive to your gaming rig don't want to miss this one all right guys so the reason why you want to consider purchasing a solid state drive well i'm gonna give you one reason so right now i have my gaming rig here my operating system has a solid state drive running which is this solid state here and then i have so this my passport is a two terabyte usb 3.0 hard drive which i have data and in all my games installed onto this hard drive the read and write speed for this drive is just not up to par now you know with all of the modifications that i have in my games basically guys this thing is too slow way too slow for what we need all right guys so for the operating system we're running this solid state drive my data solid state drives we're running this brand here our new data drive because this one is 500 this is uh, one terabyte and you know financially that's what I can afford right now so we're rocking up with this Western Digital Blue solid state drive I basically chose the Western Digital Blue solid state drive the one terabyte one this because it had a very 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 good review and Western Digital they had the best deal for one terabyte on Amazon at the time that i purchased this i want to say this is roughly uh how much did i spend roughly probably like 85 bucks or something of that nature and that's because you know taxes so what we first need to do is connect our sata cable this blue cable here is our sata cable that's going to be connected to our hard drive in order for me to gain access to our sata ports i need to remove this video graphics card two screws on this side i already have that removed i can just basically pull this out many times you want to just connect your cables going to your graphics card but i have enough cable length that i can basically remove the card lay it on the table and not have to worry about anything and then we'll pull the card out this card is pretty easy to remove again i got enough cable length to just drop this down so guys these are my sata connection points here for sata devices basically what i have is two solid state drives connected i have two sata drives connected and i have one cd drive connected we got one sata here one sata here and some other sata drives here so we're on the left side of the computer case and as you can see these are the hard drive bays this is our solid state drive for our operating system that's the solid state drive for you know like gaming but we got a new solid state drive for the gaming but uh, i still have stuff on here that's going to need to be transferred and i'm still going to utilize this one uh, these two other SATA drives here, these standard SATA drives, one and two, I have uh, data on them. So I need to actually transfer them off. Anyway, um, so what we want to do is basically I had this SATA cable here for when I, you know, have a new solid state drive out connected. But I want to use a different color because blue is my favorite. So I'm gonna just push that cable on through. We're gonna turn this computer back around. All right. So let me see, where did I put that cable? Here's the cable right here. And if I follow this cable through, here's our SATA port right here. So we're gonna utilize this SATA port. We're just gonna pull this way. So that way I can get this removed. And more than likely for you guys, you won't have a lot of SATA ports in use so you'll just basically connect it so let's go ahead and remove that old one because i think that there was an issue with this one 
Okay. So now we got our blue SATA cable. And basically what I want to do is get this bad boy connected. Now there's a certain way you have to connect your SATA port. So if you can kind of see, you got to get it nice and aligned. It's either this way or it's this way. Honestly, since it's on the side, I visually can't see it. I visually can't see how that is. So what I'm going to do is just try this way. Sometimes you kind of got to go at an angle. That feels like I'm, I'm doing too much just to get that bad boy connected. So let's see. There we go. So that's perfect. And that actually matches. See how both, both of these have clips? So that's perfect. What I'm going to do is take our cable and feed it through my computer chassis. This particular uh, computer case, it's it's got some good airflow, I'll tell you that for a fact. So we pulled our SATA cable through the case, which this cable is connected to our motherboard SATA port. Take our Western Digital solid state drive and basically you can mount it into your hard drive bay so what you want to do is purchase one of these 2.5 sata drives beautiful thing is you can actually install two but you'll have to flip this one over so that way you can get access to your connections so yeah i'm gonna have to flip this hard drive over to get that one connected, but then both of them will be legitimately connected. So let me do that. All right, guys. So we have my solid state drive for the operating system. And underneath that, we have our new Western Digital one terabyte drive. It's our new solid state drive that's gonna be dedicated for games just games so what we're going to do is connect that blue SATA cable that we have connected to the motherboard connect that here so this solid state drive the western digital it's not screwed in but it's nice and tight and the reason why i have it that way is because of this bracket here it pretty much cuts off access for cables all right so what i'm doing is just getting this hard drive navigate through so now we got our blues SATA cable here connected so now what we're gonna do is plug up power this is coming from our power supply we're gonna plug that up to our SATA drive All right, guys, so we have our blue cable, which is providing data, our black cable, which is providing power. So now our Western Digital solid state drive is now connected. Uh, what I'm going to do is now reconnect my other hard drive because I had to do a little switcheroo. That's what I call it, call it a little switcheroo. So that's good. Got this bubble up here. Got to do some rearranging right now. All my cables. Try to get everything organized and then zip tied. So that's exactly what we're trying to do now. So we're just gonna stuff that inside like so. I got everything back in here. All of my solid state drives, my three solid state drives are now reconnected. Everything's got power. So all we gotta do is put the covers back on and plug her up. All right guys, as you can see, got our graphics card connected. Now let's go ahead and put it back in a place where it's gonna be. And uh, we'll fire up again 
you want if you have like fans at the bottom spin your fans around so that way you can ensure that there's no wires touching anything all right so nothing's touching we're good to go all right guys so now guys we're on my gaming computer so what I want to do is go to disk manager or computer management and then go to disk manager. You can basically click on the start button and you can type D-I-S-K and so you can type manager and basically I'll come up with uh, create disk partition which is disk management so guys this is disk management some people they may receive a problem message that basically states do you want to initialize the disk so i'm gonna guide you through that process so the first task that we want to do guys in case you did not get the problem message that says do you want to initialize you want to initialize the disk first and foremost verify that you are selecting the correct disk I have a one terabyte disk connected, which I can see that my one terabyte Western digital disk is disk two. And that's basically telling me that the disk is not initialized. So what we're gonna do is right click, select initialize disk. All right, so now we got the pop up message that says initialize disk. You must initialize the disk before the logical disk manager can access it. So now, as you can see, this disk is online, but we're not done yet. Cause as you guys can see, our disk is not listed under devices and drives. Okay. Is I want to allocate this disk space. Okay. So we're going to right click again, right click, select new simple volume. Okay. So from the new simple volume wizard, what we're going to do is allocate the disk space. I don't want to use up all of the maximum disk space because I still want my solid state drive to have some disk space to buffer. So instead of 52, what we're going to do is let's just do 652. All right. And we're going to assign that to G. Yep, I'm going to do G for gaming. And so I'm going to name it gaming all right okay so now if i go to devices and drives as you can see 931 free disk space for our gaming partition now i would say a two terabyte will be perfect which i do have a two terabyte but that two terabyte is the usb you know, it's running on a USB 3.0, but USB 3.0 is not fast as comparison to a SATA connection. So let's get that right, guys. USB 3.0 is not as fast as a SATA connection, okay? You can argue that all you want. And that's basically how you guys connect a solid state drive to your computer and how you basically uh, partition it on a computer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I got more helpful tips coming for you guys. You know, guys, ladies, everyone. Peace.